So let's say you do have a meeting with someone to pitch your script. Um, what are you doing a week ahead of time? What are you doing the day before? What are you doing the day of? What are you wearing? How is your mindset? Um, by the time I'm pitching someone a script or a concept and they're at a high level and it's important, I've pitched it a thousand times. So I will be working on all the other projects that I have to be working on up until that moment. But maybe you know an hour or so before that interview, I will get ready. So if it's with a specific producer or a specific studio, I'll make sure that I've done my research. So I know the projects that they've done and why this whatever project I'm working on is potentially a good fit for them. Or I'll find commonalities between people that we've worked with. Or um, you know, I will find commonalities between the genre that I write and successes in films that they've produced before or gotten made. Um, so you really have to approach it you know, this is something that we talked about before. Rather than just sending out your script blindly to any production company, if you can find out that this production company does a lot of films in your wheelhouse, they have a project that's very similar and good, and you think they would, you know, respect the fact that you're writing something that they usually try to market, then approach them. You know, do your research, do your homework, know who you're meeting with, know who you're pitching. But in terms of preparation for the pitch, by the time you're pitching, um, studios and producers and agents you should have that pitch down pat because your mom's tired of hearing it your girlfriend or boyfriend or wife's tired of hearing it all your friends are tired of hearing it so you should have it nailed you know by that point even nuts and bolts how early are you showing up for the interview what does a writer wear to pitch something i mean really just even a suit jeans um well that's a good question i mean the I don't, I will show up five minutes early maybe. There's no reason to show up earlier than that because let's just take an agency for example, they're incredibly busy. They have so many meetings that are packed in from the moment they walk in to the moment they go home at night. And so there's just no time to be early or no time to be late. Don't ever be late. Just be a few minutes early, prepare yourself, meet the people that you can meet. If you go and sit in, in the lobby for five minutes and you run into someone you know or you meet someone that works there, I mean, that could help you down the road and, and down the line. So um, I would say just give yourself a little bit of time, prepare yourself, whatever. I think everyone's probably different in their preparation. Um, but then, you know, once you're, after, sorry, what was the second Oh, what are you wearing? Oh, what am I wearing? It, sounds, it sounds like a Joan Rivers red carpet question. Yeah. Seriously, like what does someone go to wear? Well, believe it or not, I actually thought about what I was going to wear today. You know, I think it's important the way that you present yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I know some of the most talented writers uh, that will have stains on their t-shirts as they show up for a meeting and they just either don't know any better or they don't care. And if they have a really good project, then it's fine. You know, we'll, we'll look beyond the, the haggardness of of their appearance. But, um, you know, for me, I think it finds something that's comfortable but professional. You know, I think that um, unless you are an incredibly talented writer that can get away with anything, just, you know, dress how you would want to dress, but in a, in a professional setting, you know. So similar almost to a job interview in a sense because it is a job interview, but, but maybe not the suit, but maybe something I think the industry is a little bit different. We're a little bit more relaxed. You know, you see a lot of agents or producers in jeans. You know, they'll they'll throw on a, a, a suit jacket, and but they'll always have jeans or they'll have Vans or Jack Purcells or something something comfortable. You know, so I don't think that we necessarily take ourselves too seriously as a whole as an industry. So no, I don't think you need the suit. Um, I think you'd actually probably, they'd probably think you were an assistant or something, or like maybe an agent if you're at an agency, if you wore a suit. But I think that, um, yeah, just, just, th I think it's important to keep it in the back of your mind what you're wearing. But really what you're there to do is to stay focused on what it is that you're pitching. So just don't wear anything that's going to be distracting. If you look, you know, if you have stains on your t-shirt, that's distracting. You know, if you are wearing a three-piece suit that's, you know, $5,000 Gucci suit, that's distracting. So find out who you're pitching to, know what the world is, know the world that you live in and that you work in and, and dress appropriately. And what are you bringing with you to the meeting? Um, well, 
I guess I'll just, I was at a meeting yesterday for this television uh, project that I'm working on and it was one of our final pitch meetings um, and we we're honing our pitch because we we're going to be taking it out to these networks probably as early as next week and uh, you know I brought my laptop, I brought a notepad and paper and I was prepared to write things down or type things if I needed them. Um, otherwise, you know, I think a lot of times when you are taking these meetings, they probably know who you are, they know what your product is, and so I don't think you necessarily need to bring a script or anything like that, they'll probably have it on hand, but, you know, have something there so that you are showing your interest and showing that you cared, because a lot of the times you can't retain everything that you walk away with from a meeting, so sometimes if you have to write it down, it shows your interest, it shows that you're invested and shows that you care, so, um, you know, I'll always have I mean, I, I don't go anywhere without a notepad, you know, I, or, you know, my phone, because if I have an idea, I have a thought, I need to write it down. It should be the same in a meeting. If something comes to you that you had not thought of before or something that's going to be helpful, have something so that you can, you can take that down.